Carbon fiber car parts, such as bumpers and spoilers, are nearly as strong as steel ones, and yet they're one-fifth the weight. Of course, a car that weighs less, accelerates more quickly, and burns less gas. So carbon fiber offers style that actually does go that extra mile. Custom spoilers, bumpers, and other parts make a vehicle more aerodynamic. When the parts are made of carbon fiber, they create this effect without the hindrance of extra weight. It's easy to get carried away with all the extras. Yes, that is a miniature basketball court in the trunk of this car. Carbon fiber parts are made of fabric that's tightly woven with very fine threads of virtually pure carbon. To transform the material into a rigid car part, they begin with paste wax. They brush it into the crevices of a fiberglass mold. This mold is for a car rocker panel. The wax seals the mold and also serves as a non-stick coating. They protect the lip of the mold with masking tape. Then they spray a second non-stick substance, polyvinyl alcohol, into the fiberglass form. Now they're ready for the carbon fiber material. They unroll it and spray it with adhesive. Despite the non-stick coatings, They'll want this fabric to stick to the mold for a while. The glue will gradually dissolve into the material. They press the glued carbon fiber material onto the lip of the mold. After all, they don't want any wrinkles in this job. This material has yet to gain its steely strength, so they easily trim the excess. They layer the fabric seven times, again following the lines of the mold. They apply a permeable material called flow media to the carbon fiber layers. They place plastic mesh on top of the flow media and tuck it into the curves of the mold. They frame the layers with double-sided tape, which sticks because this area was taped off earlier to protect it from the non-stick spray. This strong double-sided tape is called butyl tape. They drape a plastic bag over the mold and press the edges to the butyl tape for an airtight seal. They pleat the bag and close the pleat with more tape. The pleats give the plastic bag some slack. They push the folds into every crevice of the mold, then turn on a vacuum. As the vacuum sucks the air out, the bag compresses the layers in the mold. Meanwhile, they activate some plastic resin with a chemical catalyst. They place a hose in the resin. The other end is attached to the vacuum bag. As the vacuum continues to draw air out of the bag, it pulls the resin into it. The resin saturates the seven layers of carbon fiber to laminate them into the shape of the car part. After the part cures, it's ready to come out of the mold. Cleaning it up reveals the solid union of epoxy resin and layers of carbon fiber fabric. Carbon fiber can be molded into almost any vehicle accessory. Its versatility is one of its strengths. Painted to match the vehicle, the parts blend with the steel, adding some aerodynamic flash to this roadshow.